Hello, riders. It's Josh from CycleHunters.com. Today we are checking out a hooligan bike. This is the 2017 Yamaha FZ09. It is brightly a hooligan bike. And what we mean by that, these bikes are derived from their superbike counterparts. Now, they've been refined through the years, and they have gotten to a point now where it's not just taking a superbike, taking the clip-ons off, throwing some handlebars uh, on it, and putting on some uh, you know different body work, or really removing a lot of body work, and then putting that small front light on. So you can go back through and look through the history of the hooligans, or the street fighters, and you can kind of see as to why this bike now exists. And also all the other ones in the category that run alongside these bikes. Primarily what you have seen through the years, uh, you know, something like a Ducati Monster was that standard. And eventually people sort of made bikes from their super bike, like their 1000cc Jixers or their R1s. And they'd tear the bodywork off of them. And they put the handlebars on it. They'd shorten the rear tail. And uh, they would take all the front stuff off. And put a smaller light configuration on the front. Something like this. Now this is all a production bike. So this bike is made by Yamaha. Reality is. You can get now hooligan bikes that are stock. And this is one of them. As you see this bike as we go through. It's pretty much in awesome condition. There's this tiniest little thing right there. Other than that, not really much to be talking about as far as any blemishes. Wheels are looking really sharp and super clean. Nothing for nicks on that. Motor, the frame, you know, the bar ends, the mirror ends. There's not much to be talking about. You know, a little bit of scrapage there. So it's not a whole bunch in terms of nicks and things. Very slight and really, you know, what you might expect, obviously, from a pre-owned bike. So, with that in mind, knowing that, this is in really great shape. It's a super fun bike to ride. So, here's the thing. Beginners, probably not for you. You know, being at that, it's the FZ09. It's a bigger motor, a 900cc motor. Uh, you know, you're looking at something with some power. Now, this is a triple cylinder, as you can kind of see right there. The three exhaust tubes coming off from the header. Uh, you know, and these are going to have some uh, ability to get down the road rather quickly. So, if you are somebody that's a beginner, they do make an FZ07. And that's a much better bike, a much better fit for somebody that's looking to get into something like this. But yet, doesn't want or need all that kind of power. Anybody that wants more, they make the MT10. The FZ10, whatever you want to call it, those bikes are on another level as well. Where this thing is easily going to satisfy you, it's a daily rider. You can take it through the twisties. You can go from here to anywhere and have a lot of power still in reserve. It's an easy bike to ride. If you're someone that has been riding before, you jump on it. It's all pretty intuitive. It's a very fun and nimble bike for sure. Again, bar ends are great, you know. Not much for going on in terms of some blemishes, just the tiniest little things. But overall, it's a sharp looking bike with that color. That neon yellow green is just so cool looking. Controls, very simple. Now, on this bike, you have some traction control that you can toggle through. But again, high beam, low beam, turn signals left and right, horn. <laughs> On off, this is a little bit different. You pull this down to start it. You have a mode selector. And then uh, basically what this is going to do is your, your hazards, as you can see up there. Uh, this bike also has your charger for your USB up here. You can turn that on and off. It's kind of cool that they have this. It's all underneath there too so that if it gets wet, it's not a big deal. This bike's got 24,422 miles on it. So, people ask me, and they're talking about mileage all the time. Look, if you take care of your bike, it doesn't really matter so much in terms of the mileage. If you beat it, it does. But if you're taking care of it, oil and filter change within 3,000 miles, you're good to go. Shouldn't have any problems as long as you're taking care of your bike 
and you're after it, making sure that, you know, when it needs to be serviced, it's serviced. That's your left front signal. This is left rear. That tail light's cool looking too. And that little white light right here is for your license plate. This is going to be right rear. And then right front. This is going to be foot brake here in a second. That's your foot brake and then this will be hand brake. Cool thing about that too is it's got the tail delete, which everybody gets rid of that big stupid looking thing that hangs off the back in almost every case. But this one does not have it. So you can see you have your traction control, your modes for, you know, rain and stuff like that. If you want a little bit less power, you have your fuel gauge here. So it shows you that it's topped off. You have a gear selector in here as well, your speedometer. And then when we fire this up, you'll see your tack. It's a digital tack that is up top. Now, again, uh, you know, this bike does have the ABS. You can always tell by this right here. So the ABS light on the bike is on and most bikes either they're blinking or they're on until you get the bike rolling down the street and then it goes off but let's start this up so we can hear the m4 exhaust oh yeah oh yeah so this is low beam high beam low beam and high beam Oh, that's nasty sounding. That triple is cool. It's going to have a whine too, sort of like the Triumph, for sure. Oh, oh that sounds so good. Coolness sounds good. Carbon fiber M4 exhaust. It's got a lot of attitude. Very, very cool bike. Uh, so if you want to have a passenger on this bike, it's set up for that too. Passenger pegs. The rear seat is large enough and it's it's definitely comfortable. Way more comfortable than most sport bikes. So, you know, somebody that's going to be riding with you, the two-up style. You know they're they're going to be a little bit more upright than on a normal sport bike where you're leaning that far forward and it's a little tougher to ride with a, a passenger on those bikes this one makes it a lot easier to do that now every one of our bikes gets the battery tender lead right there it's a 48 point checklist that we go over each one of our bikes with so that when you get the bike it's service inspected detailed it's ready to go you know, if the, if the bike needs it, it gets it. We're not skimping on things. We're trying to make sure that it's as right as we can possibly make it so that when you get it, all you're doing is jumping on, thumbing the starter, and going down the road and just enjoying the ride. That's really what it boils down to for us. And something like that, man, that is a good-looking bike. It's bright. You're going to be seeing right down to the front of it, how that kind of comes and slopes right out a little bit like that. That's cool. It's got some attitude. And these are a lot of fun to ride. There's a reason why they call them hooligan bikes. Because guys that you know have been riding sport bikes, you still want that power, that little bit of a punch in, in the uh, acceleration. These have it. And you can wheel these babies all day too if you want. So <laughs> it's, it's that kind of a bike. But if you're just a general rider who wants something with some attitude, some, something that's going to give you enjoyment because it's going to have power, this is a great bike for that. It's got the GV windscreen, so it's an aftermarket windscreen. Uh, it's got the aftermarket levers. These are fully adjustable. And the M4 exhaust. Uh, besides that, it's a stock bike. She's all ready to go. Fully service inspected and detailed. Good looking bike. This is cool how these are kind of pointed like that. I think the BMW S1000 is like that too. It's just cool. 
Yeah. Super, super simple to ride. Again, if you're somebody that's ridden before, especially sport bikes, this is going to be really good. Older guys that are done riding the sport bikes but still want that attitude. And again, the, the punch for the power, this has got it. It has it all day. So if you are digging the 2017 Yamaha FZ09, give us a call. 717-273-1809. can see the full list of inventory of our current inventory at www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. We have some financing options available. Uh, we can deliver bikes in some cases, ship them. Aftermarket warranties, it just boils down to what is it that we need to do to help accommodate you so that that baby can be in your garage ready to go to take you to work or just on a fun ride through the twisties. And that's going to that's gonna deliver all day. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> good bike. Sounds awesome. Hope everybody's gearing up, ready for this, the new season. Make sure you get your safety gear. We'll probably talk about that in a video coming up. But until the next bike, happy riding.